Hello, I just thought I'd make a little video to show the results of my tests with the iNav rewrite of CleanFlight and I've got to say I'm really impressed. So let's just do a little bit of GPS hold here and then I'll take it over there and try a return to home. Right, GPS hold there and I noticed that the altitude is controlled differently to the normal um, clean flight GPS hold so you have to keep the throttle stick right in the middle if you want it to keep its current altitude and the dead zone seems to be quite small so if you move it even a little bit away from the middle of the throttle it'll go up or down but as you can see I think I've got it right in the center at the moment and it's holding its position quite nicely and to watch it you can tell it's making adjustments quicker than the um, the original clean flight GPS hold did. I haven't changed any PIDs by the way, this is um, exactly as it is with the default settings. So there's not not much wind at the moment which helps as well. Uh, anyway, so... Oh, oh, what's happening here? It's sort of sagged down a little bit. Still, that's... That's good, isn't it? Uh, so... Where should we go? Let's just go over there a little bit. And flip it into GPS hold mode there. And have to make sure we've got our stick in the middle, right? Otherwise it's going to start moving around or moving up and down on us. When it's further away like this, you can't see the small movements so much. So it looks like it's holding a position even better. But that's great, isn't it? That's... Um, It's quite a marked improvement on the original clean flight code. So Mr. Digital Entity and his gang are doing a pretty good job here. And uh, let me just try spinning it around. See if that can upset it. No, look at that, that's great. I've totally lost lost orientation myself. I think we're facing away from us still. All right, let's try a return to home. So the home is the uh, the doormat that I have on the on the grass back there. Ready? So this is different to the original Clean Flight Two. It goes up and it will actually land. So I'm not I'm not doing anything here. Still not doing anything.
Okay, so I'll, I, I cut the throttle there, but you can see that, I mean, it's about a meter away from where it started. Isn't that great? Works really nicely. And I'm, I'll just do that landing bit again, because I noticed something in the source code about detecting, um, the, detecting the ground effect or something like that. So um, if you're watching closely, you can see it descend. And it almost seems like it knows when it's in the ground effect zone about this high because it sort of slows down a bit there as if to you know do the actual landing even more gently than the descent phase so i'll give it give it another um return to home and see if you can see what i mean when it when it approaches the ground effect altitude Alright, so we'll hit, hit return to home there. See how it sort of stops the descent there? Hopefully that was in frame. I couldn't, I'm using my new hat cam, which doesn't have quite the wide angle that I would like. But anyway, so if um, anybody's thinking about trying clean flight for a GPS hold sort of a quad like this, or hex I guess, uh, you might want to try the INAV rewrite instead of the, the standard clean flight for that. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Um, just a little addendum, uh, I'm kind of making this video as some feedback for the developers as well, so hopefully this will come in useful. I find that sometimes after flying for a while, I get into the state where I can't arm the hex, and if you see when I try and arm, I just get a single beep, instead of the beep 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 kind of beep that you should get when it, um, when it arms with GPS lock. And when I look, I have Bluetooth on here, so when I look on the Easy GUI app, I can see whenever it gets into that state, it always has five satellites. Now, I know it can do that, this GPS can do a lot better than that. I've, it's usually 14 to 18 when it's working well. So I know that that five is, is incorrect. So. Disconnected, disconnected. I just disconnect that. I found that I can fix it by just basically resetting the flight controller, just unplug the power, plug it back in, and reconnect. Connecting. Connected. Now if I look at my GPS info, you probably can't see this, but it says 15. So that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. And now when I arm, it arms correctly and I can probably, yeah, throttle up as well. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Um, I don't think it's a hardware issue because, like I say, just resetting the flight controller, basically resetting the software, was enough to fix it. So I think it's a software issue. Anyway, apart from that, it's functioning really nicely. All right, now this is typically what happens. So I'll GPS hold here. And it's working. Oops, coming down a little bit. There we go. And it'll it'll hold for a while, and then it will just drift away.
Oh, here we go, here we go. So it's, uh... Now if I land, we'll see again. Oh, we have GPS now. Well, that's weird. But you saw how it drift, it just, it just started drifting, right? It lost the GPS lock. It lost, stopped doing GPS hold. Let's try that again. Okay, it's holding now. When it works, it works really well. It's only... Even the altitude is only fluctuating about, I don't know, half a meter at most. What a beautiful creation. <laughs> I'm close enough to, uh, to touch it. I wouldn't have trusted the normal clean flight GPS hold this close. Uh, it's behaving itself now that I'm filming. Look at the shadow. Here's a shadow. It's hardly moving. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, here we go, here we go. So I didn't do anything there. So typically what happens now is that we don't have any... Yeah, so this is normally what happens. It'll GPS hold very well for a few minutes and then... Oh, okay, looks like we've got GPS lock again now. But it just sort of loses the GPS lock after a few minutes. And this is now the second <coughs> GPS and compass module that I've tried this with. So, so I know it's not a, an issue with the, the hardware there. Well, unless it's an issue with both of them being faulty somehow, but I don't think so. Alright, well we have it again. So anyway, I think I'll leave this video here, but uh, hopefully that should explain what I'm seeing.